Sensors on the side so it won't touch the uh, size of the uh, aquarium. Uh, it has a pressure sensor in there so it knows that it's reaching towards the top and then it just goes down and then it senses that it's way down below it. So it allows that to Well, so basically right here, so the whole engineering team in Germany, if they're looking at, you know, the uh, animal kingdom and looking at how they can apply animal technology into phone box valves. Actually, this is just kind of for engineering purposes. It's kind of a fun project for these guys. So if it stops pulsating, it sinks. I'm sorry, say again. If it stops pulsating, it sinks. Yes. Uh, it nothing, but we a gripper and then once, once it reaches a certain, you know, depth, the pressure sensor, uh, the pressure sensor says, "Hey, it's start flapping again." So it starts pulsing again, so it's coming back up. But there's no change in its buoyancy. It doesn't oh, have no. any ballast. Yeah. Yeah, originally when I first saw it on display, I saw the little balloon there. I thought it was actually going to put, you know, a little bit of uh, air in there and make it go up. But uh, it's placed on the poles and just kind of proportion itself. It's just slightly heavier than neutrally buoyant. Yep. And then with that little synchronized motion, it just, just brings it up and yeah. comes up and comes up. That's pretty but cool. But it does have some sensors in there. It has uh, uh, some motors in there that's for all the motion. Um, it shifts the weight so it you know, so it knows that it's just going up. Instead of going sideways and stuff like that, so it shifts its weight around. Thank you. Yeah, let me scan your back and I'll just put up the notes and touch this. 